Well, card loads returning. Today, now with an opening, kind of an opening. Uh, this is by far, as the title says, the biggest Pokemon purchase that I've ever made. Um, let me try to get it open and talk a little bit here and show you guys what it is. If you're here from Instagram, you probably already know, but hopefully you will stick around and be excited with me and actually take a look at this. I've been saving up for this for an extremely long time. I sold value-wise over half my collection. I don't actually have the most massive collection in the world, so it was a pretty big deal for me to save up for something like this. And uh, you can see in the title what it, what it is. It is a this is really hard to open. This is a dude tin from 2006. An EX era tin. You'll see a lot of, um, uh, maybe I should have recorded a little bit after I opened this. <laughs> the, you'll see a lot of tins from the level X, uh, from Diamond and Pearl era. But these tins are significantly harder to find, being that EX era stuff was printed a lot less. So, yeah, means that they're a lot more expensive too. And this is, this is a pretty big deal, guys. I'm pretty freaking excited. I bought it from Pokemon Insanity on Instagram. Uh, he always does friends and family payments, so if you're weirded out by that, just know that I, I that's how I bought this from him. Uh, that's how he does all his sales. If you're looking for really cool old stuff, obviously he has some, some pretty insane things. So thank you Pokemon Insanity for sending me this dude. I'm really freaking excited. Holy crap, guys. Oh my god. I've been having, it's weird, today's Diamond and Pearl release day, but I've been having so much EX era nostalgia, which I'll explain in a minute, and here it is. Guys. Whew, I'm like nervous to like touch, I don't want to like ruin it or, <laughs> or something. Guys. Holy crap, guys. Yeah, wow. It is in very good shape. It's got a few, few rips and tears, but that's kind of normal going on 15, 16 years old as a as a sealed product just a one piece of cellophane so I mean here's the back for a little little ruby sapphire emerald nostalgia there it is 2006 Pokemon USA it wasn't the po what are that Pokemon like you have worldwide or something right now it's like one big company but Pokemon USA those are the packs inside if you're wondering um, two X Emerald, two Crystal Guardians. Crystal Guardians was definitely my favorite set as a kid. And, uh, yeah, wow. I was originally gonna get the Groudon one until I found out there was a, uh, sorry, a Rayquaza one. Well, guys, unfortunately, my phone cut me off. It doesn't have a lot of space left. Um, I just want to say I grew up with the EX era, for those of you who don't know. A, it was a little bit older for Diamond and Pearl, which is why I opened all these packs uh, for you guys on here. And hopefully I will open more soon. Um, maybe one day I'll consider opening a tin like this or some of the packs inside. That would be really, really, really cool. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, there's probably not too many videos of this on YouTube in general. I know there's a few openings, but here we go. I'm now one of the owners of the very few Rayquaza EX tins sealed that there are. So thank you guys for watching and, uh, helping out the channel and helping out Instagram too. If you're from there, there'll be lots of pictures of this. You're probably going to get spent with it. So Thank you guys for witnessing the rarest and most valuable item in my collection. Um, this took me weeks and weeks to save up for. Like I said, I had to sell tons of stuff, but it was definitely worth it. I love this tin. So thank you guys, and I'll see you later for more openings, dude.